Hello everybody, welcome to Daytona International Speedway. This is where we're kicking off the 2024 Wheeland Mazda MX-5 Cup presented by Michelin. In the Global Broadcast Centre, I'm John Hindorf. Alongside me is Shea Adam. In the last few years, Daytona has given us some of the most thrilling finishes in MX-5 Cup competition. Green flag is in the air and we're racing. It's one, two, three. It's going to be four wide as they go on the line. I've got no clue. And it's Wagner. Two by two to the line. It's Celine Roland. It's Gonzalez. Gonzalez down below the yellow line takes it. Thomas round the outside. It's between these two. Gonzalez might get a secondary draft here as they come onto the tri -oval. Last year's champion takes the victory. I think it's too late. It's going to be Paley. I Paley think it's to the Sam line. Paley. Sam Paley, he's Gonzalez. Oh. It's going to be a dead heat. Amazing run to the line. That's Sam. extraordinary stuff. For 2024, the series welcomes Will and Engineering as the new title sponsor. Even though there's a new name, expect the same intense racing action. Last year's champion, the series only ever repeat champion, Jared Thomas, has returned to defend his titles. He's looking to bounce back after a sixth place finish in round one. The 2021 champion Gresham Wagner is back for another shot at MX5 Cup glory. He's joined McCumby Magalia Racing, and there he'll be working alongside the 2023 Rookie of the Year, Nate Cicero. After a second place finish in round one, twice a Daytona winner, Tyler Gonzalez will be looking to keep up his momentum as we roll into the second round. Tighten up those belts, it's time to go racing in round two. And we're just off the beach here at the world famous Daytona International Speedway. This circuit, which is 12 turns, 3.56 miles, well known for a 24 hour race, but it doesn't take 24 hours to give you good racing. As a matter of fact, we get it done in 45 minutes. Three quarters of an hour, full racing speed and we are racing in the second championship event of 2024 for Whelan MX5 Mazda Pullman in the sole red number 96 Jared Thomas champion last year champion in 2022 first time we've had someone have two championship first time we've had someone back to back of course on the championship trail as well and the 96 car leads at the moment, but down the inside, the dark colours of the blue and black number 24 of Aaron Johnson. It was a great start by Julian DeCoste, who actually got right up on the bumper of Jared Thomas to give him a push, making sure that Johnson couldn't work his way in and weasel in between the two cars. But now Julian finding himself back in third, settling into that position and learning from two veterans of the series who have a good deal of race wins between the two of them. Oh, big moment for Gresham Wagner. But uh, there's contact, and I think that might be a broken steering arm as well. Is that spearing off on the outside? Is, is that, that to Costa? Is it to Costa? Yes, it is. Clearly a lot of pent-up energy. Everybody going back and watching the race after it took place last night. And why wouldn't you? Especially if you were involved. And to Costa did manage to rejoin. So hopefully everybody can get back up to pace and get settled in again. I reckon there's 14 cars there within what I would call in this type of racing striking distance. Now that might be a second or a second and a half, but these open top cars with the FIA roll cage in them, they make a big hole in the air and that's a great opportunity to get into that disturbed air. There's very little aero on these cars. So you pick up a huge slipstream, a draft, and where better to exploit that than here on the high banks of Daytona. Out of turn six and onto the far side of the circuit once again. Let's see where the moves start to come. There's been a penalty that is significant. Tyler Gonzalez penalty, incident responsibility with the 78 of Julian DaCosta. 10 seconds applied post race. 10 seconds in this series is 20th. If you win, that's 20th. Yeah. That's uh, huge and a problem. Peter Atwater. For Peter Atwater in the gold or mustard colored car. There's damage to the left rear. He's got that number 26 rolling forward for JTR Motorsports Engineering. All kinds of data logger. Oh, sideways. And a huge 
sideways swipe, and this is two cars right on the fastest part of the circuit. Preston Partis and Nathan Nicholson. Preston Partis losing it and actually sliding up into the wall, came down across. Nathan tried to avoid, had nowhere to go, though. He was already as low as he could get, and now his car is stopped in the middle of the racetrack. The yellows are out. We are going to get the safety car. I, there was another dark red car involved. It was right in the leading group. I, I think it was Thomas. Jared Thomas. I, was, I, I almost said that before. Pardis then sideswipes the wall, and unfortunately for the number 56 coming through, Nathan Nicholson in the Whelan car, there was absolutely nowhere to go. He'd already taken to the normally pristine grass right in front of us, and at that point, he'd committed to being down low, and there was nowhere further he could go. Really heads up driving by everybody else, and by Nicholson, by the way, who got on the middle pedal very quickly indeed. Wow, that could have been so much worse as Nicholson came up the track in front of two or three different cars. Take a deep breath. It might be the last one you get in the next 18 and a half minutes. Green flag, and we're racing again in round two of the Whelan Mazda MX-5 Cup. Pretty even break in the front of the field. Connor Zilic in the red and white car goes to the inside. Tyler Gonzalez tries his look around the outside, but doesn't make that one work as Celine Roland. Sheer Adam is just smiling gently to my right. Picked him out earlier on as he was coming through in the second now. Then it's Jared Thomas. Down below the yellow lines. That is Celine Roland in the blue and yellow car. Oh, big lock up by Zilic. Zilic has locked up the left front mission and he's gone super wide. Somehow gets it back onto the circuit. Now, did he flat spot the right front Michelin there? That was actually good controlled driving in an almost out of control moment. He's hung on to the lead group, and that might not be the disaster that it looked. No, it might have been uh, Connor Zilich, who's also racing in the Rolex 24 hours this weekend, breaking at his P2 braking marker <laughs> instead of the MX-5. Uh, but that was a big save from Zilich, managing to hold it together and actually stay with that main group. Very well done. Nate Cicero leading from Jared Thomas, then John Jodoin up into third as oh. another lockup coming into the Lamar chicane. It's Zilich once again. Well, he's got a flat spot on that yep. right front tire, and that means it is more likely to stop there. The tire's not completely round, hence the term flat spot. And as you brake, it'll come round and just catch, and he'll have to release the brake, and then come round and just catch, and he'll have to release the brake. It's not going to get any better for Connor Zilich for the next five minutes. Jared Thomas has had a warning for continuous contact on the banking. They have a new tire for Zilich, but with this lap and probably two more oh, to go, speed. is it worth it? Uh, that's the 55. That's Jonathan, Jonathan. Neudorf going around. New colors on his car this year. He thought he was going to be the only one running a light blue, and he shows up, and almost everyone is in light blue. So Jonathan was not very happy to see everybody for the photos the other day. I'm not sure that he was very happy with the cars behind him either. As he came round, he got a thump on the inside. Was that Bashura? I, I, maybe. Had to have been Bashura. That was the car that was behind him. Big push by Gresham Wagner, and that's forced. John Jadouin, his teammate. John Jadouin onto the high side. He'll have to try and drop in behind the number 99 of Harmon, which he does do. But Johnson was already there. Oh, my goodness me. That was all a little untidy. The white flag is out for round two of the Wheel and Mazda MX-5 Cup for 2024. Three and a half miles of non-stop action to come. We've had one safety car period when the Whelan MX-5 safety car had to take the field under control after some pushing coming out of turn four, caused a two-car incident, could have been much worse. But right now, it is Nate Cicero that leads the motor race with Jared Thomas in second place, then Western Workman in the dark purple car, then a little gap back to the black car, number five of Gresham Wagner. He's under pressure from Tyler Gonzalez in the white and green car. Tyler's got a 10-second penalty, throws it in from a long way back, and it's hammered by the number 22 of Fletcher. 
and Jared Thomas is out. The guy who has won the second race at Daytona for the last two consecutive years will not be maintaining that streak. He was taken off the track by that push, and Weston Workman also with damage. Well, that was Tyler Gonzalez going down the inside and realizing he couldn't go any further and did exactly the right thing, but Jeremy Fletcher just did not break at all, and all of a sudden we've got a break at the front of the field. Tyler Gonzalez has got an opportunity here to undo some of the damage of that 10-second penalty. Celine Roland in second, Gonzalez in third, all kinds of rubbing going on and racing going on. At the front of the field, Nate Cicero then leads it for McCombie McAleer racing into the Le Mans chicane for the final time. He's on his own. We saw this yesterday. I'm not sure there's enough going on. It's side by side again. That's another accident. And this time it's Aaron Johnson who's going to go back down. Tyler Gonzalez doesn't know this is going on behind him, but this is giving him positions because he's got the 10 second penalty. He's been pushed into second. Nate Cicero ahead of this two car train that's coming are they coming quick enough Fletcher goes to the inside Cicero's got enough Cicero is going to take it McCombie McAleer racing will take race two it is Fletcher on the inside outside was Gonzalez who takes in it's Fletcher the round two win goes to Nate Cicero he's waiting for us down on victory lane crazy last lap you know with the draft everyone usually comes so fast but uh, I think there was a little wreck behind, so I was able to get a little gap, and we got away at Daytona, so absolutely insane. Uh, good second race to start the year, so keep building on this and, and go forward. Well done to Nate and the entire McCombie McAleer racing team who've swept the first two rounds here at Daytona. Here's how it stands in the Wheel and Mazda MX-5 Cup points table after Daytona. Both Gresham Wagner and Jeremy Fletcher tied at the top on 630 points after two rounds of action. Tyler Gonzalez in third place after another strong showing at Daytona. Selene Roland and Aaron Johnson round up the top five. Rounds three and four of the Wheel and Mazda MX-5 Cup presented by Michelin take place at Sebring International Raceway, March the 13th through to the 15th. We'll see you then. This copyrighted telecast may not be reproduced, retransmitted, or used in any form without the authorized written consent of the International Motorsports Association. We would like to thank all of our loyal fans for your continued support, and we hope you enjoyed today's broadcast.